In this JavaScript tutorial, we're going to go over the get elements by tag method. And of course, in the last video, we were looking at the get element by ID method. And what did we do? Well, we just grabbed this para one ID and then we started manipulating the text. But in this tutorial, as I said, we're actually going to grab the tag. Instead of the ID, we are grabbing the tag the elements tag, which in this case is the paragraph tag. Yeah, and you'll notice that the method name get elements by tag is in the plural. The elements is in the plural. So we're grabbing all of these tags. So this is a very powerful method because it allows us to grab all the tags at once and manipulate the text. We can't do that with the ID attribute because it is too specific. But with the get elements by tag method, we can grab all of these paragraph element tags. And for that matter, we can grab any tag we want in our web page. So if it was a div element, we could grab the body tag. You can grab any tag that you want on your web page and manipulate it with this method. Now you might ask the question, well, if we're not using this unique ID anymore, how do I know which paragraph tag is which? In other words, let's say you just wanted to manipulate this second paragraph tag right here. How do we know that? Well, the get elements by tag method builds a node list. This is similar to arrays. You will remember we had those indexes, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Same concept here, this node list. So the first paragraph element has a node list index of 0. The second one would be 1. The third would have an index of 2, and so on. And so that's how you can specify an individual tag. And we'll actually do that when we write some JavaScript code, which we're going to do in a few seconds. Now you'll notice that this is pretty similar to the last video in terms of our HTML. We've got a button and when we click it, we're going to change some of this text and we're going to use the same function, which was this change style function. So let's go over to our JavaScript code and it's empty right now. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste the first section in here and explain it. So of course, remember always the first thing we need to do is to grab the element in our web page. In this case, we're going to be grabbing the paragraph tag, like I said. And again, this means we're grabbing all of the paragraph tags in our web page. And keep in mind, you always put the tag, you specify the tag that you want, and you surround it by quotes. So you can see right there, surrounded by quotes. And again, you could put a div, you could use any tag that you want. So when we grab all of those paragraph tags and that node list is built, it's all stored in our paragraph variable. Now let's switch back to our web page for a minute. Let's go ahead and we're gonna write some code that will work against this second paragraph element tag and I'll copy and paste the code in here now. And so we're creating a new variable and it's appropriately named change para text. Notice we are using the one, that's the index. That's where this index comes into play. So we specified our variable up here and then we just put in the index of the tag that we want to update. So if we flip back to our web page, this is going to be one. This would be zero. If we wanted to update the first paragraph tag, we would put zero there, but we want to change the second. So we're going to put in a one. That's where that one comes into play. And then the rest of this, you'll recognize, this is very similar to the last video. We're gonna use the style object and we're just gonna change the fonts to italic. And so again, very similar to what we did in the last video. And you can go ahead and use some of those other properties from the last video that we were changing if you want to. You don't have to use italic. That's what we're just using for this video. So let's go ahead and run this now. And so we'll go ahead and run this in Chrome. And if we hit submit, you'll notice it did exactly what we wanted. It changed the second paragraph elements text to italic. Now let's actually change everything to italic. So let's go ahead and do some copy and pasting here. We'll uh, update all four paragraph element tags. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this to zero. We're gonna switch this to two. And we're gonna switch this to three. And so this will cover all the paragraph tags in our node list from beginning to end. And so if we save everything up, and we'll go ahead and run this. And we hit our submit button. All the text in our four paragraphs are now changed to italics. And so you can see this is a very, very powerful method. You can pull all of the tags in your web page and do mass changes. Now you might ask the question, well, if we're changing all four of these paragraphs to italic, why do I have to reproduce this line four times? And the answer is you don't actually have to do it this way. You can create a loop 
where we only have to write one or two lines of code and it will loop through all of our nodes and do a mass change. So we have to create a loop to do that. And we're actually gonna do that in the next video. And so we'll create a loop in the next video to loop through all of our paragraph tags and make a mass change. See you guys in the next video.